Hello my fellow Aries, so today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, and what action they might be taking towards you in the near future. Um, I think last reading, last Zodiac reading we did for Aries, you had someone around you that was romantic, um, idealistic, like a dreamer type that was kind of just admiring you, but he wasn't really acting on his feelings, he was just, just kind of fantasizing about you and... Um, I think for the majority of you, he was either trying to escape from a karmic partner or he was a trying to escape from, um, you know, work and just day-to-day -day stress and just life in general. And you were kind of his safe space, basically, where he or she, however it resonates with you. But, um, you know, this person's just kind of, uh, you're their safe space, I should say. Well, I guess... I guess for you too. I think it's it's mutual dreaming, mutual energy actually, where you you probably fantasize about them too. I feel like you guys are kind of um, felt a lot of telepathic energy actually. I feel like you guys are really telepathically picking up on each other. And yeah, you know they just they want to escape, but there's just so much stress around them and so much going on around them that it's really hard for them too. And I do I do feel like it kind of goes both ways actually. I feel like. Feel like some of you might be stressed out and so for you guys it's like they're your safe space and you're just kind of in that energy where you're just fantasizing and dreaming and kind of just wanting to escape and retreat from life for a little bit um but then they're also definitely feeling that um just as much if not more so than you are right now i think where they have a lot going on and um and yeah, they just, that you guys both kind of just want that escape right now. Or at least that's what I got in the last reading. And I still feel that energy is pretty strong, but let's see what the cards say. All right. And I didn't, I'm going to turn all these cards upright because again, I keep forgetting to, um, to move all my cards around. They keep, yeah. All right. So for the areas that are watching this. What do you need to know? So this could be an ex, this could be a current partner, this could be somebody new coming in. Just what is your person thinking? What are they feeling? Like what's going on right now with them? What is your person, you know, ex, soulmate, twin flame, whoever, however it resonates for you, for your story, whatever energy comes in here. What is your person thinking? What are they feeling? What do they want you to know right now? Okay. I started making Oracle decks too. I'm pretty excited about it. They're going to be um, actually a lot more clear than the cards are because I'm making them very specific. And I'm, I'm kind of going off of, you know, your comments and what I hear from you guys and what I channel when I do readings for you. And so I'm making um, a really specific specific deck of cards that will help you guys figure it out, especially for like third party situations. Cause I know that's come out a lot for this group that I've been channeling. Um, lots of third party energy. Sorry if I'm a little slow today. I've been doing a body cleanse and I feel kind of out of it. <laughs> I'm like I'm purging a lot right now, like physically, mentally, emotionally, I'm doing a lot of purging. So if I seem kind of spacey, that's why if it takes me a minute to get there. Just be patient with me. <laughs> All right. So this is what your Aries is feeling and thinking right now. Okay, so that, what, what's her name? Hazley, Hazley, Um, that song, I'm Bad at Love, just came on. So maybe you listen to that song. That might resonate for some of you. That just, that popped into my head. <laughs> What I kind of feel with this group is that your masculine thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, and now he's realizing it's not. <laughs> and it does kind of make sense because, you know, like I said with the last reading we got, he was with a karmic, but it's like he was dreaming about you. Like, he had a lot of regret. He missed you. He wanted to be back with you. He wanted to get in touch with you, but it's like either she was always around or... He, maybe he's at, he's working a lot, and so he's, like, constantly working, so it's, like, he can't really, like, he just doesn't have the time or the focus to be able to talk to you right now, um, or she's always around him, so it's, like, she doesn't, he doesn't get a chance to text you, 
or call you, though he wants to. But but yeah, it kind of makes sense with the, with this energy. It's kind of like he thought he wanted to like explore his options. It's like you weren't you were there. I feel like there was some communication between you, but it's like he wanted to. This could be. I feel like there's a couple different groups of Aries that are watching this right now, and for some of you, I think it's like work or career or that kind of thing where he just kind of wanted to focus on other stuff in his life and he was putting himself first all the time. Um, and for others, I think it was a, a third party. I think it was a karmic relationship that um, he's in and probably close to getting out of now that he committed to instead of committing to you. Um, but now he's, you know, he this, this man is a romantic. He is empathetic. He is, I, f I do feel some good energy from these the masculines that I'm channeling in this reading, but, but yeah, I just, I feel like he let you go. Um, but he didn't want to, I feel like maybe, I almost feel like for some of you, maybe he didn't even know that he had you as much as he did. Like he might've been kind of oblivious and then like this karma came in or like this new energy and he followed with, he went through with that instead. So it's like with the five of cups, it's like, you know, this person's ship is sailing away from them. Like it's leaving them and they, they're just kind of, they're sad and they're sitting there and they're letting it go. But then it's like, you're the queen of cups and you're just, you're sitting here waiting for them. It's like, they're like, you're both waiting for each other almost. It's really, it's weird energy. It's, um, it's like when I look at this Queen of Cups in this particular reading, I see her and she's just kind of, she's just waiting. She's not, she's just trying to stand in her power. She's not giving him too much. She's, she's trying to be there for him and be supportive, but she's waiting for him. You know, and to him, it's like, he thinks he's losing you. He thinks he lost you. Or he just let you go. Or it's like you... I feel something about like honor and integrity. Like maybe some of them felt like it was the right thing to do to let you go. Like they thought they were holding you back. Or maybe there was like issues with like family members or something like that. There was just, they felt like it was like the right thing to do to let you go. Um, it's very confusing energy. This is a very confusing reading. Usually it's a little bit more clear. But with the Eight of Cups, it's like, you were kind of there, like, calling him, you know, this energy is like you're waiting for him to start a new life with you. You're calling him to come to you. Like, look how, like, cute and seductive she is. It's like she's telling him you're the Queen of Cups and you're in this Eight of Cups energy and you're telling him to come follow you. You're telling him, like, like I'm tired of waiting. Come get your shit together and come follow me. You know, both the, the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords are very similar energy that are about, you know, this new life, um, moving forward, you know, escaping your old life. It's like a death and rebirth kind of process here. It's, you know, like leaving the past behind. It's this transition, but I almost feel like, like there were two new starts that he could have had. One was with you and one was with this other six of swords energy, which is either a karmic or it's like a career or a job, like just focusing on himself basically is what I'm feeling for this group. And I feel like he went with this option, um, and now he's regretting it. Now he's realizing that he did actually have you, that you did actually love him. That would have actually been a stable relationship. You know, he's in this Four of Cups energy right now, and, and basically he's realizing the grass is not actually greener on the other side. Look at this, this energy. It's, it's, it's bored. It's unhappy, dissatisfied. You know, there's no motivation. This person is just kind of like taking a moment by themselves to just reevaluate everything, you know? Um, there's just, there's no excitement in their life right now, basically. Everything is just kind of dull and stressful. I feel like I keep, for this group that I'm reading, I keep getting like, like overworking maybe for some of them. Like just a lot of stress right now, I feel. I mean, honestly, though, this masculine is still being a little bit selfish because it's still all about him. It's still all about what he wants, what he needs, what he feels. Um, and it's weird because the masculines that I'm channeling in this group, you know, I'm sure this is probably the same group that I channeled um, a couple weeks ago when I did these readings. You know, they're very romantic. They're very empathetic. The, Air the Aries masculines that I'm channeling are very, very loving, um, very spiritual, very intelligent. Um, 
so it's weird to see them in this like selfish kind of energy where it's like they're just detached from everything around them and everyone around them in a way. Um, I mean, I guess it does make sense because I was saying in the last video how they're a dreamer. So it's like, yeah, they are detaching from the world around them. They're just kind of isolating, but they're not. It's almost like an eight of swords energy, too, I feel. Um, where, you know, traditionally with eight of swords, it's it's a woman who's in this circle surrounded by swords and there's a castle in an opening um, with the swords right in front of her and she can't see it because she's just focusing on all the swords that are around her and she feels like she's trapped but she's not so it's like this self-sabotage kind of energy where it's like he's feeling sorry for himself and he's isolating himself but he doesn't have to like he's got love right in front of him he has people that love him and support him right in front of him he's got you right in front of him um you know trying to be there for him and he's not letting you be there for him the way that you want to be and then there's no reason not to, you know, but I mean, I guess that's just, that's just the energy. That's just his, that's just what he's going through right now. I still, I still keep coming back to these two cards because it really just seems like, because he's the five of cups here watching his ship sailing away and just, you know, kind of feeling sorry for himself instead of putting his pride aside and going after it and saying, hey, wait, come back. Like, I like you. Like, I care about you. You know what I mean? And you're in this Queen of Cups energy where, you know, look at her. She's not, she's not really talking either. She's just kind of, she's, she's more stable and grounded than he is for sure. Um, and she's trying to just sit in her power and she's kind of like waiting and expecting him to come to her. Meanwhile, he's in this energy of feeling like he's losing her, like he doesn't have her anymore, like, like that ship sailed away, you know, like maybe you told him something, maybe he's thinking about something you said, or maybe it's like, you told him he needs to, you know, get in or get out, <laughs> that kind of energy, and, and he just did not hear anything, he didn't hear the pain in your words, he didn't hear what you were really trying to say, he just... It's like, however you guys were communicating with each other, it's like you weren't understanding each other. Like you weren't, like you weren't seeing his pain and he was not seeing your pain is basically what I get from this reading. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a lot of miscommunication between you guys is, is what I get for this group that I'm channeling. Um, Cause yeah, it's like, look, he's like, oh yeah, I'm losing her. She's, she's, she's done. And she's like, no, dumb, dumb. I'm right here. I'm waiting for you. Like, I'm not done. I never said I was done. Like I, I might have said some harsh. Maybe I, maybe I had some harsh energy, or maybe I said something um, intense. But it was to try to get you to, you know, come to me. It was trying to trying to get you to move forward with me. It wasn't. I was trying to get you out of your comfort zone. I was trying to tell you how I felt. It wasn't bad. Like it's just there's so much confusion in this communication between this and the masculine is still confused. He still doesn't know what's going on with this feminine. With you guys, with this group that I'm channeling, he's still like, I don't know, I don't give, I don't fucking know how she feels. <laughs> he's still in that energy where he's confused. But, but yeah, he went for, um, I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense with what I was getting about how he had two options. There was, you know, he could have chosen to leave with you and started, he, he, it was time for him to start a new life. It was time for him to get out of this complacent energy going around in circles, like he was depressed, he was not happy, it was time for him to start a new new chapter in his life, whether it's with you or with a new energy, that energy was just coming in for him, um, just new energy needed to come into his life and needed to shake things up for him is what I feel. Um, and yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense that he went with the Six of Swords energy and started going with you because it's like he felt like either he didn't know how you felt because maybe you maybe you were just waiting for him and you wanted to play hard to get or something and he didn't know how you felt or um maybe you guys were like miscommunicating so it's like you said something trying to express your pain or trying to express that you wanted him there and he just took it the wrong way and thought that you were telling him off or thought that you were moving on or whatever like he, there was just there's some i don't know what the age it's going to be specific to you guys like you'll know what your story is but there's just a strong energy of like miscommunication and like he's got no clue what you're feeling and you've got no clue what he's feeling it's just a lot of confusion um 
So it makes sense that he didn't feel like you were a stable, for whatever reason, he didn't feel like you were a stable bet. He didn't feel like you have his back as much as you do. He didn't, he wasn't, he wasn't comprehending it. He wasn't comprehending how much you love him. Um, and so, so yeah, he went with his six of swords energy. This is either a karmic or it's just him focusing. If, you, if you're not in a third party situation, no worries. It doesn't necessarily mean that someone's come in. It just could possibly also mean that he's just kind of losing himself in work and career right now and his job um, or his goals and hobbies or whatever else. It's like he's just this new energy came in in a different way. You know, it was either a new love or a new career, just new something like just new energy had to come in. Um, and so, so yeah, he went with a six of swords, but then it led him to the four of cups, which is, you know, boredom, regret, like complacent kind of energy, um, just kind of wondering, does, does he have you still? Do you care still? Like just kind of going back to that energy, um, but still not knowing, still has no idea how you feel or don't feel. He's still pretty confused about it. <laughs> but yeah, but he did realize the grass is not greener on the other side. So if this is somebody that just, you guys are miscommunicating, he's like, you know, screw it. I'm going to go, I don't know what she feels. So I'm going to go for this karmic instead or whatever. It's like, he's, he's regretting that decision now. He's not happy with whatever situation he's in. He's not, he's not feeling it. So this masculine is almost like an introverted romantic because I'm looking at the the emperor here and I'm trying to figure out this energy because you know when you intuitively read cards like this could mean something different in the next reading I do if this comes out for my you know my Leo group the ne next um, video I do this could mean something completely different so I always intuitively interpret the cards um, and for this particular reading I kind of see like you see how he's looking back at this energy I feel like I feel like your masculine is a romantic, but I feel like he's like an introverted romantic. It's like he he dreams about you and he and you guys might be telepathically communicating. Um and he feels that energy, but I don't know if he lets anybody know that he feels it. He especially doesn't let you know that he feels it. I think he kind of just hides it, you know what I mean? It's like I think he's probably been hurt a lot, so he doesn't really let people know like that's that side of him is very very strong but it's like personal to him it's like something that he guards and doesn't let too many people see if that makes any sense um and so you know the emperor is all about like laws and authority and it's like self-control so it's like he feels this love for you and this energy but he's controlling himself he's not letting himself express it he's not letting his pride go even though the love is mutual you know what I mean? I think he's afraid of rejection. He's afraid of commitment. He's afraid of the unknown. He's afraid of miscommunicating with you again. I think he's afraid of all that, but it's like you love him. You know what I mean? Like you feel very close to him and he just, it's like if he just let his pride go and communicated with you, you would let your pride go too. You know what I mean? It's like you if you held on to your pride before, you were doing it because of the miscommunication. But it's like, if he were to just be honest about how he feels about you, like, you guys would both be able to start communicating better. You'd both start learning how to communicate better. Um, but he is getting into the King of Wands energy, so this is just... It's just energy and concentration and, like, trying to figure things out. He's basically just contemplating this energy um, and trying to figure out what's what he what you feel, what he wants... If he can get out of this situation he's in, be it karmic or just work or whatever it is, um, just trying to figure this energy out, trying to figure his life out right now, basically. For some of you, you might be channeling through, like, movies and TV shows, like, maybe through movies, I feel, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't even know how to explain that, because that probably sounds crazy. <laughs> sure, it does sound pretty weird. Um basically just channeling through like different characters and coming to you like synchronicity look for this let me put it that way look for the synchronicity right now with this person look for the signs that are around you because i do feel like even though consciously he he might be distant right now i feel like telepathically he's really really connected to you um and he is thinking about you and dreaming about you so look for the synchronicity and the signs and the telepathic communication. Like look at things on kind of like a psychic astral level, basically. 
All right. So what are the masculines? What is he most likely to, to do within the next, let's see, next couple weeks, I'd say. What is he, what's his most likely action towards you within the next couple weeks? <laughs> I heard, I'm just trying to figure my life out right now. I don't know. <laughs> Try to know. Try to figure it out. <laughs> Let us know what's up. What card do I want? Oh, I don't know. Take those two. That works. <laughs> All right. So, what is your masculine's most likely actions towards you? And again, I'm I'm putting them all up right up right because I still need to go through and reorganize my cards. They got all turned around, so. Okay, we have the Tower, we have the Two of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Six of Wands, the World, Page of Pentacles, and the Empress. Okay, interesting. Interesting reading. Again, they're confused. They're just as confused as you are right now. <laughs> because I keep looking at these cards. Um... I feel like there's two different stories here. That's why I keep getting, keep going back and forth because I think there's two different groups of Aries that I'm channeling for this particular reading. Um, for some of you, I feel like your masculine had a tower moment where just something stressful happened. This is either a job loss or he's overworked right now. It's one of those things. It's something to do with career is what I feel. And he's trying to balance, like he's trying to balance, you know, work, love life, family, friends, all of it. And he's having a hard time finding this balance. And he's in this kind of energy, this, this queen of swords energy, basically, where he's trying to be independent. He's trying to be stable. He's trying to be grounded. He's trying to be strong. He's trying to be the provider. He's trying not to lose his shit, but he is losing his shit. Inside, he's losing his shit. <laughs> Inside, he's got anxiety, depression, um, fear. There could be fear of poverty or, or actual poverty or fear of it. Um, just, just confusion. Just like a very, like he needs, he doesn't have answers right now. I feel like he's looking for answers and he feels really confused right now. Um, for others, I feel like, let me see. For the other group, I feel like there was a shakeup regarding the karmic situation that he's in. So this would be like an explosive fight with her or with you. And with the two of pentacles, it's like he's trying to make this decision. He's trying to juggle and figure out what to do. Um, you know, what choices to make in his life. But he sees you as this queen of swords. He sees you as like independent and strong and confident and um, almost overly logical. And he didn't realize that you're not actually in that energy that he sees you in. He's you like he thinks that you're in this not saying you're not independent and strong and confident like you are. You definitely are. But I'm saying that you're way more vulnerable with him than he realizes is what I feel. Um, and I feel like with the five of pentacles and for that particular group, I feel like he's recognizing that like he's getting that you're actually in this energy where you're you know, anxious and you're sad and you feel kind of lost and you really, you need him here. You want that support. You want that love. You miss him. You, um, like you're a very strong person, but it's like you, you're vulnerable with him. You know what I mean? It's I'm not saying you're not strong. It's just that you aren't as cold and hard. You're not, you're not the queen of swords. Like he thinks you are, you're more the queen of cups. You're this loving empathetic person. And he's seeing you as like this almost like logical, cold and in, independent kind of closed off person. And it's like, you're not really in that energy that he thinks you're in. He's not understanding you properly. And one or both of you is going to have this energy burst come in with the knight of wands. You see that's like pure fire energy. Um, this is like, boldness this is this is fast action this is you know getting into your power this is um just fresh pure passion and, and raw energy 
that one or both of you are getting into, you know, getting out of this, this energy right here and getting into this uh, later in the month. And I feel like one or both of you is going to be completing a goal, because like with the Six of Wands, this would be like public public recognition, this could be success, um, and this could be, it's like you're in the spotlight, so something takes off. Or like people are noticing your work, they're noticing, they're noticing who you are, they're noticing what you do for a living or your hobbies or passions, like people are starting to take interest in you. Um, and so there's this energy of, of confidence and success and power for one or both of you later in the month. And then with the world, it's, it's completing a dream. It's completing the cycle and, and you, you've you achieved a goal. You've achieved, um, you're starting to achieve your dreams. I almost want to say this is probably more likely you than him. Um... Or whoever's in the feminine energy, it could it could go either way, whatever you resonate with. However the story plays out for you, you know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But um, with the Page of Pentacles, it's also about achieving a dream. And it's like manifestation, like look how powerful she is. She's focusing on who she is. She's focusing on her power. And towards the end of the month, you're in this Empress energy where you're just connecting with nature. You're, this is like divine feminine energy. This is just like pure power. This is like... You're not just, you, it's not just potential anymore. You're like, actually, you've manifested abundance. You've manifested, you're manifesting what you want. Like, you see how relaxed she is? She's just, it's like, this is this energy is more powerful than any of the queens, in my opinion. Because this is just pure feminine energy. This is just a very naturally powerful goddess type of energy. And I almost feel like, hmm... Maybe you're trying to get his attention because this is, again, public recognition. So I feel like trying to, it's such a, he's so confused. And so it's making me fucking confused looking at this because it's like, he's confused. <laughs> and I pick up on your masculine's confusion. It's really, he's very frustrating. I'm not going to lie. It's very frustrating masculine. <laughs> um, but no, okay. So this is what I was saying. This is like public recognition, so I feel like this could also be social media or like phones, like texts, that kind of stuff, um, or just some public outlet, like something public, which I guess social media would be public. So it's almost like maybe things you're posting, finally, like maybe you post like passive things on Facebook or something or on Instagram or whatever website you're on, and it's like starting to... Like, towards the end of the month, it starts to get his attention more, I feel. Like, he starts noticing more, and he starts um, realizing what you're trying to communicate. He starts recognizing your feelings a little bit more, I think. And he starts recognizing the, the lack of communication that was in your relationship before. So that's that's what I'm getting, is that towards the end of the month, because I keep I keep looking at it, I'm like, this is <laughs> this is a tricky reading. I don't know why it's so tricky for me. I'm in Aries myself, so it shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, towards the end of the month, or, or you know, over the next couple of weeks, I, I do, it's like he's recognizing you publicly, whatever that means. It's like he's recognizing what you're posting on social media or things that you've said or things that you're saying to him. It's like he's recognizing that energy more and he's understanding you more. He's understanding that you're this just passionate, fiery you know, emotional woman, but that's not something to be afraid of. That's, you're not, there's nothing wrong with you. You're not, you're not cold. You're not overly logical. You're not being distant from him. You're not being mean to him. You're not closed off to him. He just didn't fully get you. He didn't get that you're just a very passionate, very emotional, very sensitive person. Like he wasn't understanding your energy. I feel like your energy confused him. And, and yeah, so towards the end of the month, it's like he has these epiphanies where he realizes like, oh, this energy is actually good. It's different and it's unique, but it's good. It's a good thing. It's a good energy. It's um, like he's recognizing whatever you're posting, whatever you're saying or doing, he's like, he's taking note of it. And he's like, he has like this aha moment, like this epiphany where he's like, oh, like all this makes, like she makes more sense to me now. Like we were miscommunicating before. Um, and let's see. 
I'm going to pull a few more cards just because that was mostly about you. It's mostly telling you, you know, towards the end of the month, you're getting into your power. You're going to be successful. You're going to be manifesting the life and the kind of energy that you want. Um, you're, you know, by the end of the month, you're the empress from what this reading is saying, which is, it's a, it's a really powerful card. And that's a, that's a really good card for um, love drawing too. You know, the empress is very magnetic. She, she draws love to her easily. She's a very, um, it's like seduction, but it's like a natural kind of, like when I look at it, it's like a natural seduction. It's like, she doesn't have to try. She just is. Her energy just naturally draws love in, you know, and that happens, I think, when you're really in your power and you're just being your true unapologetic self, I think it starts drawing in the right people. And that's the energy I see you getting into now. Um, and yeah, this person is just, he's going to have this epiphany and he's going to, he's going to recognize some things towards the end of the month. But let's see what, okay, so what action is he most likely to take over the next couple weeks towards you though? So we got that he's, you know, he has to, he has to go through, he still doesn't understand you. He still doesn't understand the connection fully, but he's about to, he's about to understand some things. He's about to have some clarity. Um, I feel like you guys have been telepathically communicating a lot too. So what is, what are his actions though? Can you tell me anything like once this epiphany comes in? What are his actions? What are his most likely actions towards you? Self-worth, you know, I think that's him recognizing your self-worth and, and, um, just both of you feeling confident. It's like his, you guys are recognizing, you're recognizing what the connection is worth, what it's worth to, to communicate with each other better. Um, and he is wanting to message. He's wanting to, I feel like he's realizing he needs to put his pride aside. I think he's realizing that a lot of, ugh, he, he's realizing he misunderstood you. He's realizing he didn't get you. He's realizing that, you know, you did really love him. Um, and with, with self-worth, it's like, he's, he's, he's letting go of the pride and he's replacing it with like a genuine confidence and coming forward with that energy to send a message to you. I feel he's wanting to send a message, you know, it always varies. Sometimes they don't. Um, cause sometimes we're like, you know, we will get cards where it's like, oh, he's about to message. And sometimes, cause that's what's astrally telepathically going on. Like they're psychically like. They're in that energy of, I want to send a message, but it still doesn't necessarily mean they physically will do that. You know what I mean? But but he's wanting to, and that energy is there, so that could definitely happen for you. Um, he does still feel fragmented, so there is still kind of that, like, confusion, like something's missing. But he's trying to be strong. Hmm. Still feeling kind of trapped, so there's still some confusion towards the end of the month. And he has a choice to make. And he's choosing the High Priestess of Air. So this, let's see. This could be you if you're, you're, you could be choosing an air sign. Air is also about communication though, because it could also be, you know, it's like he feels trapped and he feels like he needs to be strong and he feels you know fragmented like not all there like there is some pain there is there are some wounds still there but it's like he realized that he is responsible for he realizes he's responsible for his own choices and he's responsible for making the choice to come in and communicate so i do see him getting into like a more um assertive type of energy towards the end of the month so yeah if that resonated um you know like share subscribe please thank you guys Always good to hear from you.